guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Riley. Thanks for being here. As you have seen by the title of today's video, I'm gonna be showing you what is on my iPhone. So I have the iPhone X. Every time the new iPhone comes out, my mom usually gets the new one and then I get her old one. It's the normal size, it's not the XR or anything, but it's totally fine because it fits in my hand perfectly. So this is the case that I have on my phone. It's super cute. The brand is called Loopy. I will link their website in the description in case you wanna check out their cases. But most of their cases have this little loop, hence the name Loopy. And you can kind of like put your finger in it. And I love this because it helps me grip my phone. And I definitely haven't dropped my phone as much. It's basically like a pop socket, but without the pop socket. So that's all that's rocking on my case and my phone. So now we can get into the fun part and go into my phone. I'm gonna scoot over so I can give you a little overview of what my phone looks like on this side. But when I unlock my phone, I have my apps color coordinated. I know this seems really extra, but I love how it looks. So starting off with the first screen, I have my notes app. Obviously it comes on the phone, very generic. Um, the next app that I have is Honey. This is such a cool app. It actually lets you go on here and then you can basically online shop and it'll find you discount codes for each store and you can apply them straight from the app and then you'll get the discount. So nice. Next app is the Dunkin' app. If you don't know, Dunkin' is doing a free donut Fridays and free coffee Mondays. Oh, no way. The pumpkin spice lattes are back. Um, here's my Instagram. If you don't follow me already, definitely check out my Instagram. I, there'll be a direct link to my account in the description of this video. Obviously, you know what Instagram is. The next app is Poshmark. I don't ever really use this app. The next app is McDonald's. If you don't have this app and you go to McDonald's, you definitely need this app because you can get rewards and it'll find you deals. So right now there's $2 medium, McCafe, Frappe, Mocha, Smoothie, or a Latte. Buy any size Minute Maid slushy, get free medium fries. Like, why not? The next app is Yelp, love this app. Next is Chick-fil-A. Don't ever really use that app, but I don't wanna delete it because if I delete it, then the apps are not gonna be spaced correctly and it's just gonna bother me. So we're just leaving that there. YouTube, you know and love her. Pinterest, ooh, love Pinterest. I have so many different boards. You guys should totally check out my Pinterest. Um, here's just a couple examples of what I have on there. Some of this stuff is so random. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. And then uh, McAfee security, you don't really care what that is. And YouTube studio, sometimes when I've uploaded a video from my computer, I wanna edit a couple more things on my phone and that's super easy with this app. Going on to the green page, we have the Xbox app. Honestly, don't ever use this. I play Xbox on Robert's Xbox sometimes, not all the time, but I'll like check to see who's on and I don't know. Starbucks app, I like to look at their menu a lot. The band app, this is like a group messaging app. I used it for Newsies and I'm too sad to delete it because I want to be there just in case anyone messages me back. Next we have FaceTime, find my iPhone, phone app, Duo Mobile. This is linked to my UF account. It'll give you like a passcode every time you want to log into UF's website. Very secure, but it's kind of annoying. The next app is Maps. I always get lost, so this is a great app. So the next page that I have is like the purple, blue, and then there's some white in there. Starting at the top, we have podcasts. I have just recently been getting into podcasts and I have been loving Nutrition by Lex. If you guys want to find a podcast that's really interesting, if you like food or nutrition, just stuff like that, Nutrition by Lex is a really good one. And then also I've been listening to The Real and Raw. This is actually one of my friend's sister's podcasts and she does what I wanna do. So I've been listening and getting some ideas of what it might be like in that specific career field. The next podcast that I listen to is the Dr. Flynn Show. If you don't know what the Wellness Way is, totally look up their website, read their articles, 
it's so interesting and it's all about nutrition and living a healthy lifestyle and they definitely let you know certain things that you wouldn't think of like for example one of their articles is all about whey protein so bodybuilders and fitness gurus will all tell you that whey protein is so good for you and that you should always have protein after you work out and yes that's true you're supposed to have protein to rebuild those muscle fibers that are tearing but not whey protein. Whey protein is the cheapest type of protein. I can go into it more, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to today, but definitely check out their website. I will have their website linked in the description so you guys can check them out. The next app is Live360. This is where I can track my parents, track my brother, not that it really matters, but next app is the Weather Channel. This next app is the Funko app. Now, Robert got me on this app because I have Pops. If you don't know what Pops are, they are basically like the little figures. I don't know how to explain them, but I have a total of seven Pops and here they are. Spider-Man, Hulk, Captain America, Thor, Loki, and Iron Man. So I kind of have like a theme going, Marvel theme, because I love Marvel. If you didn't know, now you know. Next app is Facebook. Just use it to like check up on, on family and all that good stuff. Mail. Next is the App Store. Twitter, Safari, Facebook Messenger, Files. Have never opened that up, but again, if I delete it, then it's going to ruin the aesthetic of my screen. Next app is Visco. If you don't follow me on Visco, you can totally do that. I don't really post a lot. Like I'll have random spurts where I just post on there but I love this code. So the first folder that I have are all of my editing tools. I edit a lot for my YouTube videos on my phone. So these are some of the apps that I use frequently. I use Fonto a lot, I use Spark Post a lot, Lightroom, I have some presets on here that I use. Um, I've made a few and then I've also bought like one or two. Eraser, I use that a lot for my YouTube videos whenever I wanna like take out the background on something, put a picture on some other picture, I use that a lot. Next folder is everything related to school. So I have Google Docs, my calendar, my clock, Quizlet, Gmail, uh, Google Slides, and then the Bible app. My next folder is like everything money. So we have Venmo, my bank, and then the Apple wallet. And then this app is called Noonlight. If you are a college student or just a student in general, anyone can download this app. It's free. Um, basically, whenever you feel uncomfortable, you can just open the app and then you hold this button until you're safe. And once you feel safe, you can let it go. And then if you are safe, it gives you a certain amount of time to enter your pin. And then once you enter it, then it just says, oh, you're glad you're safe, Riley. But if you don't put in the pin, it will contact, I think it'll contact 911. Now going on to the last screen is gray and like black. So we have the settings, calculator, contacts, Sonos, that's just like some speaker app that we have for my house at home. Um, Kala Ukulele, I use this app to tune my ukulele. Paxson app, um, the next app, Chipotle, I also scan so much. I have so many rewards and I get free meals all the time. If you don't have the Chipotle app and you go there a lot, definitely would suggest. Then I have the Apple Watch app for my Apple Watch. And then activity that also comes with the Apple Watch. And then TikTok, obviously, great app, love that. And then Uber Eats. So that is all that's on my little slide pages. Down at the bottom, we have my reminders. I always write so many reminders. So there are some of my reminders. Next app, we have Snapchat. If you want to start a streak with me or be my friend, add me on Snap, that'll also be in the description. I have my messages and then my music. So that is everything on my iPhone. I hope you enjoyed. I love these types of videos just to see like what everyone does, what everyone has. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And after you do that, I will see you in my next video. Bye.